What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another video and this is on how to install custom themes for your 3DS or 2DS console. Now this does require homebrew so if you do not have homebrew access on your 3DS or 2DS console be sure to watch my very first 3DS homebrew tutorial and that will show you how to set up homebrew completely for free and then you will have access to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download CHMM, this will be in the description below. It stands for Custom Home Menu Manager and this is basically a free 3ds homebrew app that will allow you to install the theme and then apply the theme so once you have everything downloaded and you have chmm.zip you're also going to want a ftp client if you want to transfer via ftp i'm going to be transferring via ftp to my 3ds as i find it the easiest for me it's just a lot faster than any other way that i could do it micro sd management i can also do if i really want to um, i find that a little bit slower and i just feel like ftp is a lot quicker since i have it on my 3ds you can also use an SD card reader and take out your SD card from your 3DS or 2DS console, plug it into the SD card reader and then access your SD card and do it that way. But if you do have FTP access, I highly recommend it. So if you don't know how to use FTP on your 3DS, I also have another video on that. So be sure to check that out. So if you go over to the description, you will see two 3DS theme links. One has official 3DS themes. So these are from the actual e-store. These have Japanese, North America and Europe themes. And if you click on them, they have a lot of themes in here. So we have mega links and I've just clicked on one at random and as you can see these are official Nintendo 3DS and 2DS themes and there are a lot of different themes in here so you can actually use the official themes and it works just fine so if you want to use that you can but we also have another website called 3DS themes and this has over 8,500 custom themes that users have created you can also you know create your own but I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial and it will probably be quite a long video so what I'm going to do is I'm going Going to search so you can search for anything you want as you can see I've already done this um, I'm gonna search for material as I really like this theme I haven't actually seen it on the 3ds yet once you find your theme simply click on it and on the right hand side you'll see a little purple down arrow click on that and it will prompt you to download it I'm gonna save it on my desktop for ease of access and as you can see here we now have a material design red so we have everything we need we're going to extract everything so now what I'm going to do is open an FTP client and simply connect to my 3ds console then what you're going to do is simply look for your 3ds folder go inside of here and this is where all of your 3ds homebrew applications are stored what you're then going to want to do is go over to the chmm folder go inside of 3ds and then you'll see chmm2 so what we're going to do is simply drag and drop chmm2 inside of here and it will probably ask you to overwrite it if you already have it that's completely fine you can go ahead and do that so i'm going to hit ok and as you can see transfers have finished we're then going to go back and we're now going to create a directory on the main root of your SD card and call it themes. You may already have this, but just be sure to create a folder called themes. Once we have opened themes, you can simply drag and drop your custom theme folder into that directory. Now we have everything in place. We can go ahead and exit our FTP client. So now we're on the 3DS console. Simply open the sound application hit next a couple of times and then go down to SD card and load Nedwell 2016. And now we're inside of the homebrew launcher. So all you want to do is go down and find CHMM2 and simply click A on it. So once the application has opened, you can see CHMM2 theme manager for Nintendo 3DS. Detected themes are one. So we can simply press Y and it will preview the theme on the top screen, which is absolutely awesome. And it will also phase through some different sort of scenes and stuff like that. But to apply the theme, simply press a and then as you can see on the bottom it says installing theme once that has done press start and then go down to exit chmm2 now we want to press the home button and there you have it guys we have now got the material designed theme on our 3ds or 2ds console this looks pretty awesome and you can pick from a lot of custom themes or maybe even design and create your own there's also official nintendo 3ds themes as i showed you in the start of the video as well so i hope you've enjoyed i hope i've helped you today if you do have any problems feel free to comment below that is pretty much it guys so comment rate subscribe and good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one peace